Good morning, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session Wednesday, 30th of May 2018. Please be sure to visit TradeSignal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so uh, let's see exactly what's going on here in terms of the uh, markets. Then Asian markets down overnight quite heavily. The Nikkei down 1.5%, Hang Seng down 1.4%, Shanghai down quite heavily as well, down 2.5 percentage points. U.S. markets certainly did stage a potential comeback, but then obviously, obviously withered towards the end. Uh, Nasdaq down uh, negative, S&P down 30 handles as well, down to that 26.90 zone. Now, the markets at the moment certainly seem to be rebounding at present or potentially stabilizing, uh, shall we say, uh, from the uh, potential lows uh, seen yesterday, especially on the euro stocks at 3,400, potentially even below that as well. German deck certainly stabilizing as well, uh, given the economic data this morning from Germany certainly has come out stronger than expected. Given the fact that German retail sales came in stronger, also uh, the unemployment numbers came in stronger as well, uh, given the fact that uh, the unemployment rate certainly dropped, that certainly bodes well for the German markets, okay, so bear that in mind too. Although French data certainly was on a weaker side, so just bear that in mind. And also we did have a warning with regards to German growth going forward, given the weakness in the, uh, in the Eurozone and uh, obviously especially in term regards to Italy. Having said that, though, European services, consumer confidence, industrial confidence, and business data and economic sentiment all came in stronger than expected. So that certainly will help the, uh, the markets uh, stabilize and trigger a short squeeze there as well. Okay, so uh, again, uh, there was news with regards to China as well. China surprised at White House trade statement. China expressed surprise on Tuesday at White House statement that the United States will continue to pursue action on trade with Beijing, saying it was contrary to consensus both sides reached recently. So again, a lot of uncertainty there as well. Uh, act in accordance to the spirit of their recent joint statement, China's confidence, ability, and experience safeguard its core interests, etc., etc. So, China's in the background, North Korea's in the background. I think we already know the uh, the potential geopolitical, um, uh, obviously, uh, backdrop at present. Okay, now let's look at the technical picture then. Uh, given the fact that Asian markets certainly uh, were under immense pressure, German DAX certainly stabilizing, no new uh, lower lows today. So, again, that certainly does help as well. Bear in mind you've held gap fill so far. Okay, so so far so good on the uh, German DAX at present. Okay, so again, a potential uh, base being built here. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so again, like I said, no lower lows. Bear that in mind. Uh, they are, there is news at present. Uh, at present, Italian League will not block rapid political solutions to handle emergencies once election as soon as possible. Uh, once either Conte as PM or a, or a new vote. Okay, so Italians, Di Mario, either PM as Conte, uh, Conte as, uh, the, um, as a new PM, or a new vote. Uh, let's have a look here. Cotrelli sees possibility for a new government headed by politicians. So again, news like that or talk like that certainly is uh, is certainly uh, is positive as well. So just bear that in mind. Again, if you can build a base here in German DAX around the twelve six fifty, currently trading around twelve seven fifteen. If we can build a base here, we can certainly start to project higher and look to close the gap at eleven twelve eight sixty. So bear that in mind. Okay. Moving on to the French CAC now again. French CAC holding that double bottom, so again, bullish news, uh, certainly helps the uh, European equ equities. Again, the target would ideally be gap fill. Gap fill is seen at 5,440. Then again, you've got resistance at 5,460 and eventually gap fill at 5,510. Five, okay, so watch out above there as well. Uh, in terms of a 60-minute chart, again, double bottom, holding that key support zone here. Okay, you've got unfilled gap above. And you do have an unfilled gap below as well, so just bear that in mind. It certainly is a battle of the gaps. Daily chart at the moment, certainly... Uh, Putting in a potential bottoming tail yesterday, okay, looking to potentially pop and bounce. Okay, so the bull certainly defending that zone. We take the pivot low to the pivot high, given the rally that we've had quite a substantial rally as well. Recently, you are looking to buy the dip, ideally, okay, from that perspective, if you are on the bullish side of the market. So bear that in mind. Certainly is an opportunity there. FTSE 100, the weekly chart, where I already highlighted that you are the topping tail ever since then. Obviously, we've been flushing and moving lower. Uh, daily chart broken the uh, bullish channel at the moment either we we, we trigger this bear flag and move lower or we potentially short squeeze and move higher so those two are the possibilities there again if we do potentially retrace and you are looking to come back to 7720 here okay 7720 is on the 60 minute chart on the upside uh, 10 minute chart we've certainly made a double bottom so again certainly bullish from my perspective any potential pivot low any lows I'll certainly be looking to buy on the uh, and go long on. Okay, so certainly looking to go bullish on uh, FTSE 100. Certainly look to potentially close that gap at 7730. So FTSE certainly making a base. Okay, so from my perspective, European indices certainly basing now. 
no new low lows if that's the case and you are looking for a potential short squeeze euro usd has already factored in that short squeeze and certainly is triggering higher as you can see in the daily chart and the 60 minute chart will certainly display that as well we've uh, made a base here around the 1.1520 and ever since then we've obviously bounced quite sharply so uh, certainly impressive uh, thrust there on the euro usd and get one to watch out for okay so again you are now coming into potential resistance okay so that's the status quo uh, from my perspective, European provided European equities don't make new lower lows, the bulls certainly should take charge here, and we should potentially trigger a short squeeze. Ideally, I'd lo I like to go long FTSE and US indices as opposed to European indices, but nevertheless, European indices certainly looking very attractive at the moment. Either way, that's the status quo. Please be sure to visit CFDs.com, certainly take advantage of the bonus, and be sure to visit TradeSignal, download the latest app. Goodbye now.